We have at this point temperatures that aren't going to help the dry scenario and things really drying out statewide. When you look at our dog walking forecast, upper 60s between about 7 and 8 this morning, it's going to be sunny. It's going to be hazy again, and we're going to see a little more cloud covered this afternoon. 95 by about 4 to 5, so it's pretty close to, to what we saw yesterday. Got pretty toasty at times. Now, there will be a better chance for a few storms and showers in the mountains today. So over the western half of the state, we'll get a little more activity and a few more clouds developing here in town this afternoon, but overall it's going to be warm. In fact, we're looking at 90s in Denver all week long. Most of the storms that we're going to see will be in the high country this week, but we'll get a few that will roll east. Today we have an air quality warning again in effect until at least four o'clock this afternoon, so an ozone action day alert. You've got 60s as you step out the door this morning. Extremely comfortable Lakewood 62 Parker 63 and in Broomfield right now an extremely mild 66 degrees. The air quality warning again covering the northern front range. Also a pocket as you head farther west. You've got some of that smoke lingering in through some of the valleys there near Steamboat this morning. Right now future cast looking at mid 70s by about 10 o'clock this morning, so it will warm up early on. We're going to get to near 90 by lunchtime mid 90s and then a few building clouds late in the afternoon. Again, most of the storms that we'll see today will be off to the west. No real risk of any severe weather, just a little rain, lightning and thunder. A few of those storms, a better chance of seeing a few of them roll east over Denver tomorrow afternoon. So we'll again be in the low 90s tomorrow, but with a few more clouds and a few uh, chances for a little bit of rain, it'll cool us down into the upper 80s, likely by about five o'clock. So not quite as hot through late afternoon and early evening. When you look at our statewide future cast, it's going to be a little bit more impressive for us in the mountains again this afternoon. But again, with that thunder and lightning, we're hoping for a little bit of rain, just not as much in spots where obviously the burn scars have been such an issue for us. Uh, next couple of days, it's 90s. In fact, we'll see 90s through the end of the week. And then for the weekend, there's a, well, a brief chance, Jason, that we may break that 90 degree streak. Very hot, though, Thursday and Friday with mid to upper 90s. It's near triple digit heat. I don't have the triple digits on there, but it's pretty close to it with that 97 on Friday.